frustration for Clellan, the 1995 champion spinning on the grass and going absolutely nowhere. Meanwhile, the field charges on. So Rydell in sixth place in the Volvo S40, his teammate Kelvin Burke, number 11. This is the battle of the Volvos, apparently no team orders. Past his teammate goes Rydell, ahead of him, Bintcliffe's Audi. Now, taking a look on the inside, Bintcliffe closes the door. You can see, Charlie, how tight these Volvos are, this contact. Absolutely, this is Silverstone revisited. Nothing like kissing Volvos into the first couple of laps of the race. Not good for the pacemaker or the Volvo team manager. Must be leaping off his hinges by now. They're still going at it as they go through Allard's past the pit straight. Now we're heading down to another passing spot, the left-right-left -left of Campbell, Cobb and Seagrave, the chicane. Who's going to give best? Rydell got the verdict, I think, just. There's Rydell, number three, on your left-hand side of the picture, nipping through, and wide goes Kelvin Burt. Rydell is in front, Kelvin Burt fighting back. Oh, this is incredible, the Siamese Volvos. We've seen them stuck together at every race in the last couple of rounds. This is no exception. It's got to end in tears. This can't continue like this. It's very, very dangerous. In fact, that's Burt losing it. Burt in front of Rydell. Rydell's missed him, Burt's off on the infield through there taking advantage of that the number 10 honda of james thompson kelvin burke going from one side of the circuit to the other as the field charges through the dancing number 14 peugeot patrick watts as well look at will hoy's door flapping in the breeze he took a mighty clout there from the 